you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for supporting me right here. Uh, really appreciate it. This is a more technique driven lesson. I'm going to teach you a major ish, country ish, rock ish kind of lick, and then we'll use that lick as a concept to expand on. So basically, when you're looking for that little bit sweeter sound that happens in country a lot, you end up using the major pentatonic or the major pentatonic with the blues note. I'm going to show you the whole thing right now. Um, you can leave your comments and requests below, right there in the comments. And thanks again for supporting Marty Music. Here we go. So kind of that, uh, you know, countryside of Clapton or Grateful Dead, Allman Brothers, that kind of thing. When you want a little bit of that sweeter sound, you can plug in this scale, which is uh, the A major pentatonic. And I find it by putting my pinky on the root for the major pentatonic instead of my index finger for the minor pentatonic. We're going to play this, which shares all the same notes with F sharp minor pentatonic, but we're playing it over A and the A notes, which are the fifth fret, second fret on the G, and then fifth on the high E again. Those are our roots now. So that feels like home bass. great, great scale to be able to plug in because you don't have to learn a new position if you've been working on the minor pentatonic. You just have to learn to use the same fingerings and shape in a different way. So that's what we're doing. Now when we play this shape right here, A is the root. That's the root. So we've got two, five, but five's the root. And then we're going to add the blues note, which makes it really sound like a country kind of sounding scale. Two, three, four, two, four, two, four, five. Two, five, two, five is the root again. And root is right here, really important. And so the lick, and then I'm going to show you ways to expand off of it. We're going to bend that G string on the fourth fret. And I'm going to release my index finger. So that's what's going on. I'm bending that up. And while that bend is ringing out, I get my index finger over to the second fret of the high E. Then I go back to the G string while it's still bent and ringing out. Then I'm going to get my pinky to the fifth fret of the B. So. And I'm kind of nudging that bend there on that G string. So when I hit that, this is kind of coming back down. And so I hit that fifth of the B, and then I come back to the fourth of the G, bend it up again, release to the root right there on the second fret. So that's its own lick, and that's where I'm going with this, is that you can take this idea and make a million licks out of it, right? But what I did was. followed by this classic, one of the most classic guitar country licks, but it's used in rock as well, is covering the uh, root there, but covering the B string and the high E on the fifth fret. And I let that ring out as I bend the fourth fret of the G string with other fingers behind it, bend it up for strength. And so when you put that together, you get this. And then the root's right there. So 
So the first thing that I would recommend is, you know, start messing with the lick. If you don't play it exactly how I played it, I think you'll still be able to find your own little voice in there. So the first thing I'd recommend is start working on being able to play that major pentatonic with the blues note up and down the neck over a jam track, which there'll be a link for below. But this kind of thing. Just make sure, you know, you can feel where that root is. It doesn't mean you don't have to end your licks on the root, but you want to know that everything is in context to the root. The other cool thing about A in particular is you have an A power or A major or power chord right here. You also have that scale still as you hold down the chord. So another thing to mess around with is that a shape right there with one finger and then messing with the just run that shape and then use a jam track where you're kind of practicing that shape and then using the little vocabulary sentence I gave you of and then use the, the, the scale shape to climb into the lick and climb out of the lick like So the lick again. And then the whole scale itself. We call it the A major country, the A major blues scale. Now, if you've are, have been working on your pentatonics for a while, and you know the extension below and above, with the A major, that means the extension shape still works the same, it's just A note is the root, like this. Alright, so I created a little jam track and I'm going to have a full-on version of this in the link below so you can practice too. I'm just going to show you what you can do over the jam track. So it's A, D, and E, a little bit of that country flavor or a little major sweet flavor. And I'm going to use the concepts I just showed you and you can hopefully through osmosis it makes sense. <laughs>
Now bonus, I can just play it an octave up. The A is right up here on the 17th fret. Nothing changes, but it's just an octave up. There was a lesson. Thanks again for the continued support, you guys. Uh, this stuff is great to practice over a jam track, and there is a jam track link below. Thanks again for supporting Marty Music, and I can't wait to see you uh, with a bunch more videos. See ya!